Welcome to the demo of the Tackle Test tool. Tackle Test is a tool for amplifying automatic unit level test generation by using type based combinatorial coverage. Tackle Test builds upon the well known test generators for Java, Randoop, and Evosuite by defining new coverage targets, which are type combinations of the parameters and the methods under test, and generating test cases accordingly by utilizing as much as possible of the output of Randoop and Evosuite. Tackle test is released as open source on the Conveyor organization. Its command line interface repository and algorithmic core repository are available in the links shown below. We will now demo the generate and execute command of tackle test in one of the applications of SF110 benchmark, application number 25, named JNI Inchi. While we are running the generate command, we are going to show configuration file that the user needs to specify in order to work with tackle test. This file, the user specifies the location of the application, external dependency, and different configuration options. For example, the time limit for test generation on each class of the application, in this case, 10 seconds, and the interaction level required for coverage of type combination, in this case, pairwise coverage. We are also going to show a test file that was generated in the previous run for one of the classes of the JNI in G application. Each test method in the test file targets a specific method of the class, the specific type combination as defined in the combinatorial test plan. For example, the JNI in G output structure constructor has two test methods targeting it different type combination. We also define automatically assertion after each statement in which objects are created. The assertions are based on the values that we recorded during test generation. Now we turn to the generate command. You can see here that we required pairwise coverage. We have 24 classes in the application under test, and 89 target methods for which we generated 97 type combinations that we want to cover. After we defined our coverage goals, we ran Randoop and Evosuite to generate base sequences. In this case, we are reusing existing basic block sequences from previous run. And after we are parsing this, these test sequences to extract all the sequences that they generated, we are iterating over the 97 test combinations and attempting to generate a test sequence for each of them. Once the generation is done, we will also see the CTD coverage achieved by the test method that we generated. In this case, uh, we'll measure pairwise coverage because this is the coverage level that we required. You can now see that the generation is completed. We generated 23 test class files with a total of 70 test methods. We are going to see the CTD coverage for all the methods that have more than one row in their test plan. In this case, we have such five such methods. For the first one, we achieved coverage of 33% of the pairs of types. And for the others, we achieved 100% pairwise coverage. We will now generate, we will now ex execute the execute command. To execute the test cases that we generate. In this case, we are using ant to execute the test cases, but we also support Maven. Execution is done, and we can now view the reports that we generated for uh, the executed test methods. First, we see the results. We can see that all 70 test methods have passed with no failures and no errors. The JUnit reports. And we can also view the code coverage report that we generate using Jococo. And in this case, we can see that we covered 59% of the instruction of the application and 22% of its branches. This concludes our demo. Thank you.